Hello and welcome to the 67th tutorial in the COCUS 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at labels. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. COCUS 2D JS provides three different ways for creating labels to display text on the screen. There is the label TTF, label BM font and label Atlas font. Label TTF is the one we will cover in this tutorial. Label TTF should mainly be used for simple static text on the screen that doesn't need to change. For example, it could be used as a title for the scene. So if you're on a pause screen, you could say paused or maybe you're on game over and it says um, bad luck or you've run out of lives, something like that. The reason label TTF should be used for static text as it is slow to update and creates, uh, it creates a new one as it uses a new texture. So try and use it just for static stuff that's not going to be changing. You don't want to use it for a score uh, label that's going to be constantly changing. You definitely don't want to do that from a performance perspective that is. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Open up the app.js and in here what we're going to do to create a label is pretty simple. You're going to do var label equals new cc dot label ttf and in here we're going to specify two parameters first is what we want to display I'm going to put batman you can set the string afterwards as well I want you to do that as a little test look into the different method look into the different constructors there's so much um, information I mean so many features that label ttf offers look into it I'm going to specify our font I'm just going to use the aerial font experiment with, with other, other fonts as well I'm going to do label dot set font size and in here I'm just going to put 80 I'm going to put label dot set position also another task I want you to do, there's quite a few tasks but it, it will help your coding skills for the set font size I want you to try and run this on different devices whether it's a simulator where you've got loads of different devices and have a look on the free device aka okay, low medium and high res in theory you could just force low medium and high res on the browser see how it reacts uh, how different it looks or how similar it looks and have a look of ways of combating it if it looks different and now we're going to do cc.p and we're just going to set it to the central screen so size done. Dizza. Mm. You almost sound like Deezer, the um, music app. Divide by two. Size the height. Divide by two. It's going to comment out the sprite child. Uh, simply because we don't want the label to be on top of the sprite, that's all. Then we'll do label dot set color. For the color, I'm going to do cc dot color. We're going to specify RGB values. I'm going to put 255 for red. 0 for green and 0 for blue. Now we're going to do this dot add child, specify the label. We're all done here, so let's just open up our web browser. And what we're going to do is open up terminal, cd to our project directory, run the cocos command. Okay, so nothing has happened. I, I don't know. I don't understand. Okay, so no. I don't know why Siri just decided to activate. Ignore Siri there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, nothing has happened, and I think I know why. It just needs the cache and images to be removed. So if we clear the cached images and files. Go back to our page, refresh, and I can almost guarantee the label is going to appear. There we go, we have our label appearing, and it says Batman, and it is centered. It is that simple to create a label. Again, like I said, there's a lot of functions that Cocos 2 djs offers for label. Check them out, look at the Cocos 2 djs API guide for more information. The next tutorial will cover the Atlas label. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.